the headlines breaking in the administration's 50 running scandals. Pushed. Number three. I can make a hat, a brooch, a pterodactyl gate. The Washington (laughs) Times of all papers complains about a new proposed airplane security measure that's caught the eye of officials at the Department of Homeland Security. It's called the EMD safety bracelet. Safety, yay. But what's EMD stand for? Would you believe electromuscular disruption? That's right. Officials at Homeland Security are considering requiring all airplane passengers to wear a bracelet, which if activated by the flight crew, electromuscularly disrupts you. I said seat back in the upright position. Number two, enemies at the gate gate. After Iran tested missiles last night, John McCain responded in part by singing the praises of the Bush administration's newly signed deal for a missile defense radar thingy in the Czech Republic. Missile defense is one of those big, expensive, glitchy weapon systems that's supposed to make you feel safe. This one, however, has Russia threatening to start a war over it. Russia told the Czechs today if they ratify the missile defense radar thingy with us, Russia will respond, quote, not through diplomatic, but through military technical methods, end quote. Feeling safer yet? And number one, Katrina Trailers Gate. The House Oversight and Government Reform Committee today released a report which finds that manufacturers knew there were high levels of formaldehyde in the trailers they sold to the government to house victims of Hurricane Katrina. Republicans on the committee released their own report dissenting. Do Republicans claim the formaldehyde levels were not high or even that the trailer makers didn't know about it? Nope. Even though one company made half a billion dollars on the deal and didn't tell anyone the results of its own formaldehyde testing, the Republicans blame the government for not having an official standard of how much formaldehyde you can make your customers breathe. Funny, when Democrats do want those standards, the Republicans usually say, you're regulating us to death.